about the quarterback position first. Is there something tangible that you're going to look for? Are there stats you're going to use for some of the scrimmages? Well, we'll keep stats. Um, but you also just want to see how they handle situations. Um, a lot of times you can learn more from a guy when the protection is not good. What am I going to do when the protection breaks down? It's one thing to have protection, wide open receiver. You know, you've got to be able to put it on the money, obviously. But there's times where protection is not perfect. i got to move it in. Or everybody's covered. What am I going to do? Am I going to throw it up for grabs? Am I going to throw it away? Will I hit a check down possibly? Will I run for a first down? You know, so how are they going to handle the adverse situations? It probably tells as much about who's going to be the guy as when everything's perfect. Do you have a date that you want to name a quarterback by? Well, we really don't. If I name a date, then everybody's going to be standing here with a microphone <laughs> in my face, you know, to say who's the guy. But uh, I would think before we have the opening kickoff, we'll know who the starter is. When you think about that position, I know John Deeds made it known that, you know, hey, we're comfortable with whoever's back there. How does that help when players are confident in well, whoever's competing? Well, you know, those linemen know that no matter who the quarterback is, no matter who the running back is, the receiver, the skill guys are counting on the linemen to block. And the better they block, the better the quarterback's going to play no matter who it is. The better they block, the better our runners are going to run. Our receivers are going to be able to have time to get open and catch ball. So, you know, the linemen know it's their job to provide time and space for whoever is behind them.